Okay, so what we'll show you now is where we would use that screw and never that screw. We often put a screw through a flashing and it may not necessarily have a button underneath to hold the screw in. For instance, let's have a look at this apron. Now, you've got an apron that goes on top of a corrugated roof and there's no button underneath, right? So you could go, let's put a screw in just to hold this apron in. So if, if you were to choose a standard roof screw, which is suitable for a corrugated that goes into batten, you would do this. So, but whilst this screw seems to be held tight, see how easy it is to unscrew? So, you've got a screw in here, you've got an enlarged hole, and you've got another enlarged hole right there. But you haven't got a button underneath to hold the screw in. And you're relying on this little bit of thread, which isn't a real thread, it's a stabilizing thread, which is in the smaller diameter than that thread. You're relying on that to grip the two pieces of steel together and hold it together for a long, long time. And that just doesn't happen because as you can see, see how easy this is to... So, imagine a screw like that that you can do up by hand without a screw gun, how loose that is. So, over time, this can actually pop. It's not popping at the moment, but over time, you get an enlargement. You might get a little bit of corrosion around the edges of the, of the screw hole, maybe. Right? And loosen that. That's all you've got. See that there? So you have a loose screw. And what will happen is that it, when the screw is loose, you get water that goes in between that and that, down through capillary action into the hole. When you get water in here, you've got some nice threads in here that the water will hit, and then the threads will actually guide the water into the roof. In this case, if you wanted to use this, you would make sure that there's a button underneath so that this actually holds and that will work. But if there's nothing underneath, you've got a problem. So how do we solve that? Because normally you don't intend to put a button underneath for most flashings. So this is where the 25 mil screw comes in. This is the correct screw to use whenever you've got a flashing that is screwed through a roof, and you've got no batten underneath. Okay, so this is solid because this, the screw because the screw has got a full thread, it hasn't got an enlarged shank, uh, the, the thread goes all the way up to the washer, and that binds the two pieces together without needing a batten underneath to hold it all together. So, you have, and see how tight that is? There's a lot of resistance. If I try hard enough, I can just manage to get that down to there. But there is no looseness, and this screw has got a much better chance of working in this situation. So this is the right follow to use when you've got this, not this follow. So I always thought that screws are screws, but over the years in dealing with roofing screws and seeing how they've evolved, I can now understand why designers have designed screws for certain applications. And if a roofer doesn't know where to use the roof screws, then potentially there could be a problem.